hello. We hope you have fun making your own Victorian Valentine card. You can use materials that you have at home to make your individual card. Items that you might have would be wrapping paper, old cards, paper doilies, lace, ribbon, and your embellishments can be ribbon roses or bows, stickers or paper that you cut into shapes out of paper punches like hearts or flowers or anything else that you want to add to personalize it. You also can add your own sentiment like be mine or happy Valentine's Day or love. Our card is made using an 8 inch paper doily which we cut in half. We have ribbon and three different sizes of images from reproductions of Victorian Valentines. We are also going to use some ribbon roses and bows and add some paper hearts that we cut out with a paper punch. So these are some of the tools that you would use to make your Valentine and the Valentine has um, different papers on it stickers, ribbon, um, things are cut with a um, shaped paper punch or decorative scissors that have a little bit of a fancy edge. The way that we adhere um, our paper um, to our doily, um, you can use any type of a glue. We used a glue stick and glue dots. You might like to use these pop dot tapes with, um, because they give you some dimension on the uh, Valentine. We also used a paper punch so that we can make holes to loop our ribbons together and just a fancy marker or a pen if we wanted to do something by hand. So these are some of our paper supplies that we're going to use to make our Valentine. And the first thing we want to do is pick um, what we want to be our main backer. So I think um, on this one I'm going to use this. Take my paper doily. And because this is quite large and you'd have to make a gigantic valentine, we're going to cut it in half and size this to be vertical to frame our um, paper. So we've done that. And we're just going to take our glue stick and put a little bit of glue right in here. And I'm going to glue the back here. So now we've got the frame for this. And we want to trim this. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to trim some of this off. And don't be afraid if this is separated, we're going to connect that next. Next thing is adding this ribbon. And this will tie some of this together. So I'm going to punch in the top of my um, Valentine and take my piece of ribbon. And we're just going to come up through the lace and try to connect all of this together. Not cooperating, but there we go. You can tie a bow, but a knot is fine because we're going to cover this up with um, one of our embellished roses. So for this, I like to use the glue dots. And we're just going to take our rose, get our glue dot, and put it right in the middle there. So now it's just time to have a little bit of fun and add some of these other things. So you can lay them out and see what you think you might want to put on there. So that looks good to me. Get my glue dot. Now if you don't have glue dots at home, regular glue works well, but you do have to let this dry. These are just fast and easy to use. So we're just decorating um, what we have here. Now these hearts um, I've cut out um, out of various kinds of paper. It could just even be a magazine. And just line up your paper somewhere where you think it would look pretty. And it just makes a nice, fun 
addition. We've got some other papers here that you could cut out. These will go on with our glue stick just to add some dimension to this and I'm going to glue this down here a little bit. And I think that this might need a little Cupid just so we don't cover up our letters. And he probably would work well with those pop dots to give some dimension but right now we're just going to use a little glue dot and put that right there. And to me that looks pretty done. I think I would have liked maybe a bow, but I think that looks like a little Victorian Valentine. And you can see where if you use any of these other pictures as a backer, it would have made a nice one. Now if you're going to mail this, you, want, you might want to make your own envelope. Uh, but to give it to somebody, you can always write your sentiment on the back of the Valentine. So I hope you have fun and you can make your own Valentine one of these days to mail to somebody or to give some to somebody that you're thinking about. We hope you had fun making your Victorian Valentine. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Victorian Valentine's Day and the origins of Valentine's Day, please check out our YouTube video on our Grundy Museum channel and like and subscribe. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon.